Today we're going to be learning about scroll programming and how we can make our maps interactive in Counter-Strike using vScript. Scroll is a high level imperative language with object oriented programming language support to help add flexibility to pre-built applications or standalone. This is used in mostly every known Valve game and some other various ones too. Scroll helps to add flexibility by programming fence procedurally. It gives the programmer more control over a fence and it helps to manipulate the engine without needing to modify the game engine entirely. This means that they don't need to rely on the source engine programmers make a change to help them with the map that they are making. Scroll is influenced by C++, JavaScript, Lula and Python. It supports cross-platform. So it's usable on Windows, Mac OS and Linux. Squirrel is free to use and you don't need to pay for a license. Squirrel is dynamically typed, like Python, so we don't need to specify a data type. There is no ability to step down or trace the code, which is the only downside. An extension is a dot .not. By the end of this, we will be having a good understanding of Squirrel. We'll be able to create a new script and where to save it. We'll be able to attach a script to the map, and we will be printing a simple message to the console in Counter-Strike. A vScript is a virtual machine for scripting to communicate with the source engine and external scripts, so we can tell the source engine to invoke a message to display to the console. We can specify multiple scripts into one logic script, which is quite handy if you have multiple scripts, but you can do this also in one script, so this might not be necessary. In order to use scripts, we need to add a logic script which we can tell the map what procedures or functions we plan to use. It will only work if the object is alive and it's not being disposed or killed. And we also need to specify what scripts we want the map to run. And if we access a method or a function that's not in the script, we will get a message in the console with an error. These scripts are always saved to the vScript folder in the Counter-Strike directory. So now we're in Hammer, assuming that you know how to use Hammer, you need to add a script. Do this by going to the Entity tool, click somewhere on the map, double click, and type in Logic Script. Make sure you name your script and tell what script that you want to run. For example, I named the Entity Green Script and I told it to reference test. Script dot nut. We're going to activate this by using a logic auto. On map spawn, we will target our entity. We will run a script code called print text out. You can edit this in Notepad or Notepad. But I like to use Visual Studio Code because it gives us colorful syntax. For this example, we'll be sending a control to the console saying that we want to clear the console. Then we will print a line normally. For this example, I use a semicolon, but this is optional. Then we will print another line to prove that this will not take a new gap after each text. Then we have a new function or method would print L, which means print new line. This will print a gap afterwards, so any text below this will be put behind it or in front. And this will print the end the line without taking a new carriage. And notice that this is without a semicolon. It's optional. If you're from Java, C Sharp, C, you'll be easy and familiar with this syntax. But this is optional. And for anyone in Python, you should know that we don't include a semicolon. Let's run this map. Do this by pressing F9 in the keyboard or by doing this waiting the symbol here, run map. Then we're going to make sure that our game is targeted. And we're going to hit go. 
Doesn't matter what one you select. Let's go here. For some reason, the text is not displaying. So we can comment this one out. Notice as it turns green, you're gonna save. This is somewhat of a good idea. And if you want this back, you can all we need to do is uncomment it and we have the function working again. But for this example, I want to see without this and see if we can display the text. Notice as this is all in one line. And notice as this says, the next text after this will be below me. And it is. This line is below it. This is because we tell the compiler or the game engine that we want to print a carriage underneath. We can do this in the normal print method by doing this. We don't need to recompile the map, but what we can do is simply restart the game, pause it, and notice as this is now below it, and this is now below it. So you can choose print L, or you can choose the print method with this. This would mean enter new line or enter carriage. You can do research and see what it means. There's multiple different variations you can use for syntax. And for the next tutorial, we will learn about logic.